Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. You are now watching the Grumpy Easterner for some reason. And now to develop the film, we have developer. This one is called Rodinal. It actually comes from the 19th century. Uh, the recipe didn't change for, I think, 130 years or something like this. And then a fixer. Uh, this one is already prepared uh, in the beaker. Uh, so we will be just preparing the developer now. This is the fixer. And let's prepare the developer. We will need 12 milliliters, for which we will use just the ordinary plastic syringe. It's the easiest way how to measure it precisely. Uh, in a small be beaker I have some water. It's just normal tap water. Uh, sometimes people like to use distilled water. It's not necessary if you live in an area that has clean water. This is 12 milliliters of the concentrate and it goes in the water. Now everything we will need is just to stir this and uh, all our chemicals are prepared. Rodinal is one shot developer, which means you use it once and then you pour it away. The fixer can be used several times, so we'll just use what we have saved from the last time. You can use glass tube to stir uh, the developer. Uh, if you don't have uh, glass tube or glass stick, just use plastic spoon, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I prefer the glass because it's much easier to clean. Plastic spoon works fine as well. So now when we are ready, we can start uh, the developing process. We have the tank here with uh, the film inside. That's what we did last time, we loaded it in. And as you can see, it's sealed, no light can go in, but we can pour chemicals inside. Uh, first thing you want to do, that's the way I do it, that's pre-soaking the film. So just pour some water, the same temperature as the developer and the fixer have, which in our case is 20 degrees Celsius. Let's pour it in and let the film soak in some water. This will make uh, the entire process much easier. Uh, it will allow the developer to reach the film uh, better. If you think there is not enough water, just pour some more in, you can open and close uh, the developing tank. That's the good thing about uh, the ceiling against light. The problem is when it starts leaking, you closed it improperly. I will show you how to do it the proper way. Press the lid and put it on. Now the pressure will not allow uh, the chemicals, or in this case water, go out. See? Not even a drop. This is called agitation. Even though you don't want to do this movement with, uh, with chemicals, with water you can allow uh, to move it there and back. If there is any water, just wipe it. Uh, I like to keep some paper towels around. Makes things much easier. The film is pre-soaked, we will pour out the water. Some people avoid this step, they don't pre-soak their films. Uh, there is no universal rule here. I like to do it, especially with expired films. And now for developing process itself. This is 300 milliliters of solution with those 12 milliliters of concentrate. Uh, we'll take the timer and the entire process should take about four minutes. Pour it in, uh, avoid any drops of this chemical outside, uh, then you have to clean the surface, otherwise it will make some stains. Close the lid and agitate this way for approximately 30 seconds. 
don't do it this way just like this slowly like a motion of a wave then tap it that helps you get rid of the bubbles so it will be developed evenly there won't be any spots it's 30 seconds of agitation 30 seconds of leaving it still and then every minute just about 10 seconds or five or six agitations uh, just like this and then for 50 seconds just leave it be in the meantime you can clean the surface clean the beakers uh, see those marbles here the marbles I use them uh, for the concentrate uh, when uh, the level of the concentrate goes low uh, there's a lot of oxygen there it can spoil so I put marbles in the developer and as you can see it's filled with marbles <laughs> it's not very clearly visible but uh, otherwise there would be just like this much of the concentrate it's almost filled with uh, marbles it's good solution for most of the chemicals you have if you don't have plastic bottles that can be pressed or uh, if you don't have special floating lids that are pretty helpful this is the second agitation slight moving tapping to get rid of the bubbles uh, just remember, you are working with chemicals here. It's pretty st the concentrated rodinol is pretty strong base, so there might be some danger if you try to, let's say, lick your fingers or drink the concentrate. Don't worry, it's just Pepsi. Uh, always check the bottles, and uh, as you can see, this doesn't look very friendly, so wash your hands now we will do the last agitation and uh, we are left with just one minute some processes take longer uh, some takes very sh some take very short time it really depends on the type of the film you are using on the type of the developer and on the concentration this one is a uh, quite strong concentration uh, it's uh, one uh, part uh, rodinal, 25 parts water and uh, it will only take four minutes so we can take this lid off we cannot yet unscrew uh, this uh, bigger lid but uh, you will see the film when everything is ready some people don't like uh, to do the rinsing process I prefer to do so. It's just basically pouring water in between the developer and the fixer. So just fresh tap water before we put the fixer in. I can use uh, water from the large bucket uh, I have on the side and four minutes are gone. We will just pour all the developer out. Do it thoroughly. Just tap it <laughs> if you need to and pour fresh tap water inside the reason you do this is uh, you want to reuse the fixer as many times as possible the fixer is acidic while uh, the developer itself is, uh, is a base so you want to basically get as close to pH 7 as possible and also you will get uh, rid of many chemical impurities you can uh, do this agitation pretty powerfully uh, if you want you can do it once you can do it twice doesn't really change anything so once is enough pour the water out get rid of all the water again if you need tap it shake it hit it doesn't matter get rid of as much water as you can so you don't spoil your fixer and pour the fixer in uh, some fixers have 
given time, let's say just do it four minutes, uh, some say three to five minutes, it depends on how fresh it is. Uh, mix it for the first 30 seconds and then every 40 seconds, every minute or so, again, uh, this tapping process helps uh, get, getting uh, rid of all the bubbles in there. So what's actually going on uh, during the development process? Uh, the film is exposed to the light in the camera and this creates a so-called uh, latent image uh, on the film. Then you put uh, the film in the development tank and you pour the developer in. The developer reacts with uh, those particles that were exposed to the light, creating uh, the dark places. Uh, this is the reason why uh, it will end up as a negative. All the parts that were exposed to the light, they darken and uh, the developer does not react with uh, those parts of the film that were not exposed to the light. During uh, the rinsing process you get rid of uh, all the developer and when you pour the fixer in this will wash away all uh, the silver that did not react with uh, the developer yet thus ensuring uh, this film will not spoil once taken out of the de uh, developing tank. If you don't use fixer or if you use a fixer that uh, doesn't work properly, you will end up with uh, a ruined film. It will look fine for a moment, but then it will darken and uh, there is absolutely no way you can ever wash it away. If you notice uh, that the fixer didn't work properly, uh, you can save the film if it if uh, that just been a few hours, but uh, if it stays somewhere ruined for days or even weeks, I don't think there is any way to recover it. As we are approaching the end of the uh, fixing process, you can prepare some tap water. Uh, it should be on a stable temperature. I prefer 20 degrees uh, Celsius. Some people want to develop in you know, colder temperatures, some like uh, hotter ones. Y if you stay between 18 and uh, 24, it uh, will work for most of the films. So here we are on 20. And uh, there are several ways how to wash the film. There is an Ilford uh, way, which is basically just uh, rinse it in the tank several times. I don't like this one, I don't trust it. I know it was tested in a laboratory and everything, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. This is the way you pour out the fixer. The fixer you can save for later. And yeah, don't, don't, don't forget to shake it well, this is really necessary otherwise you will end up with less fixer uh, after every single uh, developing and then it won't be enough. You can now open the big lid and we will start pouring water in. This will help us to basically do the first cleaning and after that you can check the film for if it actually works. Sometimes you can see there are some impurities, sometimes you can see the film is completely ruined. Okay, well, I'll just speed up the process and we can take a look on the film itself. At this moment uh, the chemicals are so diluted that uh, you don't need gloves, but if you have sensitive skin or if you have any allergies it's better to use uh, just some type of rubber gloves or anything. Uh, rotate the film on the spool under running water and uh, always change the water in uh, the tank. You can put the film under shower. Some people do it. See this is how it looks like. We can't see it yet but uh, this one 
at the end was slightly underexposed. Uh, that happens with uh, with expired film or if you have uh, faulty batteries in a camera or if you mess up. Okay, so properly washing uh, the film. Just uh, leave it in the developing tank and pour tap water through uh, the pillar and uh, when it's full keep pumping. 50 time, pump 50 times, pour the water out, uh, clean, yeah, clean water and uh, pour it through the spool and pour the water out from uh, the tank and rinse it with, uh, with fresh water. Just keep fresh water in it again and again. Uh, you should repeat this process about three, maybe four times. Just let the water pour in through the pillar and keep pumping. Or you can just leave it, the spool in it and let the water pour through the pillar. It will go down and through the spool up and uh, around, the uh, around the tank outside. It's a good idea to check the temperature from time to time, adjust it to keep it, uh, in my case, 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's still good temperature. And you pump 50 times, you rinse the spool, you take water out from the tank and uh, you let it fill with fresh tap water once again. Water out, wash it properly. All the silver halides, they uh, stick to the bottom. So get rid of the water in there. And you can just uh, let the pillar float on the top. If it floats on the top and the water goes in it, it will uh, clean itself. Although this takes more time and uh, thus more water is wasted, so if you live uh, in a place that has cheap water, you can do this. Or if you live in a place where water is expensive or scarce, uh, you will be probably stuck with uh, this pumping process. Depends on how you want to do it. This is a good way, just uh, rotating the spool under tap water. Uh, this is a good way how to uh, really clean it. Now for the last step, we will need some distilled water. Or it is possible if you have extremely clean water at home, uh, the water that leaves no stains on glasses when it dries up, then you will be uh, able to use uh, water from the tap. But in my case, I have to use distilled water. And this way we will get rid of all the mineral residues that can be on the film. So last rinse, stop the water, clean it properly and let's pour the water out and put distilled water in instead. Again, keep the distilled water on the same temperature as all the other chemicals and the tap water, otherwise it will ruin your film. Uh, don't keep the distilled water outside uh, under direct, su direct sunlight or uh, when it's freezing. Yeah, you pour the distilled water in. And now for an optional step, you can use a wetting agent that I have here. Just a tiny drop of it in the tank together with distilled water. Uh, you can use dishwasher soap, just a normal one, uh, instead, but uh, I prefer the wetting agent because it has uh, no, no aroma, uh, which means no additional chemicals. Just a tiny drop, just pour it in and that's it. Now uh, you will have to top the whole tank with uh, distilled water and uh, maybe even slightly more than just top it. Go slightly over so it will create uh, sort of a, like a dome over it so you can swipe all the bubbles away. I'll show you just uh, with your hand just in the sink.
and this way there will be no stains on the film. Move the spool up and down several times just to help the wetting agent uh, dissolve and you will leave the film for about a minute just like this. You can just leave it and uh, now go in some place where you can dry the film. The film will have to hang for uh, a few hours so just find a place uh, wardrobe uh, some part of uh, your corridor or a room where uh, there is not uh, so much dust and install some some hanger there and uh, get some I don't know kitchen knife or a heavier spoon or something uh, to use it uh, as a weight uh, on the bottom of the film. Get rid of the clip, take the filler out and now you can see there is just a spool with the film. You will have to open the spool. See the film? Yep. You will have to open the spool and carefully take the film out. So hang it in a place where there is not so much dust and let it dry. This film is slightly underexposed but uh, we can still work with this. As you can see it will take about two to three hours. Uh, make sure there are no mosquitoes or uh, flies or anything that, uh, that can ruin the film and just let it hang with a slight weight uh, on the bottom. Basically, this is how you develop a film if you are on a budget. I hope this video was useful to you and uh, thank you for attention. See you!